Super Dave here with episode 23 of figures, play sets, and accessories that go great with Mo2 Classics and Masterverse figures, and also for all of those Mortal Kombat fans, Storm Collectible fans, this video is for you as well, as we're going to take a look at Kentaro. And man, I've been looking forward to this guy. I have Prince Goro, and this is going to round out that team with Shao Kahn uh, of Mortal Kombat as, long, as well as this Kentaro, and he is awesome, and he comes packed with a lot of accessories. Let's get ready to look at all those accessories. Just take a look at this intimidating figure. Wow, look at him. I mean, m amazing. And we're going to just break this packaging open and take a look at Kentaro. And here we are. We're going to take a look at Kentaro. And let's first look at Kentaro's accessories. Let's first take a look at Kentaro's hands. He comes with three sets of hands. First of all, these big open palm type hands. Of course, there'll be four of each. And then he has these more gripping looking hands. Grab somebody around the neck. <laughs> Grab some weapon. Really cool. And then, of course, he comes with a set of tightly balled up fisted hands, as you can see here. And all of these have black fingernails and just really awesome looking hands for all four arms. Concerning head sculpts, our Kentaro first of all comes with this more calm, stoic looking face. And then he comes with this gritting teeth looking face. Wow. Check that head sculpt out. I mean, you know, Storm Collectibles does an excellent job. And then thirdly, he comes with this amazing looking open mouth, angry, yelling, spitting this fireball out face. <laughs> Check out those gums and the teeth and that tongue there. I mean, just it doesn't get much better than that right there. I think that is an excellent looking head sculpt. Really cool. Then he also comes with this nice acrylic stand here with all of these little peg parts that plug in together so that he can mount his fireball effect that can shoot out of his mouth so we can put together this, you know, head right here and make it look like he's firing that uh, <laughs> that out there and we'll take a look at that in photos but yes really cool now we'll mention just very quickly that i did turn my red sash around so it's not showing the yin and yang so i have my um tassel thing hanging down on the left instead of on the right just simply because um i'm not a big fan of the yin and yang symbol i'm you know when i'm posing him along with my masters of the universe stuff but mortal kombat fans yes the yin and yang symbol on the belt or sash is there. All right, now let's go ahead and look at a few other accessories. He comes with that uh, can go not only with any action figure along with Kentaro, but also Mortal Kombat figures like Scorpion or Sub-Zero. And we're gonna do a, a side Sub-Zero um, you know, accessory review as a bonus after we finish reviewing Kentaro, so stay tuned. But um, that's these right here. He comes with this ripping the spine out of the head <laughs> accessory here in the middle. And then two uh, of these that can attach to ball joints. And then two that can attach inside socket joints. So you've got two, four, five blood effects. Wow, isn't that awesome? So it makes it look like they're being ripped out of some opponent or enemy, or in this case, maybe even the good guys, if Kentaro is fighting He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, but uh, or any of the Storm Collectible figures, or of course Mortal Kombat figures that you may have. Even if you have some McFarlane, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat figures, you could use this Kentaro. So just really awesome set of accessories. And again, we'll cover Sub Zero's accessories following this review of Kentaro. And now let's take a look at Kentaro's articulation. 
All right, let's bring in our Kentaro a little closer and look at some details as well as his articulation. And no, he does not come with that bloody skeleton. That actually came with Motaro, which we'll do some comparisons of him later. But you can see how he can grab someone around the neck with that hand. So awesome. All right, let's go ahead and bring him in a little closer here. Just look at the veins in his arms here. Just really awesome detail, the muscular fibers, the abs. I mean, the leather straps, even the threading in that leather, leather strap simulation. And yes, you can pop off these, um, uh, you can see it up underneath there, it pegs right in on that leather strap. So you could remove the shoulder, the spiky shoulder pads if you wanted to. Um, so that, you know, could count as accessories, those shoulder pads, as far as them, them popping off those armor pads on his shoulders whatever you want to call them, and these things also pop off. You can pop them right off his wrist, which are really nice. They're spiky little bracelets that pop on and off, which kind of hide that ball joint articulation, you know, that Storm Collectibles has on their wrists. Certainly wish that uh, McFarlane could figure out a way to hide their big old ball joint things uh, on more of their characters, but Storm Collectibles tries to do that when possible, so this is really nice, and it's removable. So you see that, and look at the veins in his legs, the muscularity, I mean, it's just crazy. And before we even get articulation, I just wanna look at these feet because they are so much better than Prince Goro's feet because they're wider and just a lot better foundation. I love the way these look and the way these function. Of course, we'll look at the articulation now. But let's go ahead and look at this head sculpt. I've got the angry gritting teeth head equipped here. And of course, that's going to be able to look up really good amount there. Not any problems looking up for this dude. He's going to be able to look down all the way, of course. He's going to get plenty of head pivot. Be able to go all the way around with that head. Just be able to get a lot of great motion. That neck and all this upper part of his chest is a soft rubber. So you're just going to be able to get a lot of uh, motion and expressiveness. Whatever you want to do. See? I mean, it's just nice. Looks great. Looks super. All right. Moving on to the arms. This gets a little bit tricky just because of their girth. But... Uh, they will move, you know, 360. The the shoulder armor does not get in the way. It goes out of the way there, but he'll he'll go up better than 90 degrees there. You can see, I mean, better, well better than 90 degrees getting that Y pose, not just the T pose there. And of course, he does have uh, butterfly joints up in there on both sides and he has bicep swivel. It's a little tight, so you're going to have to watch out for scrubbing because that bicep and the shoulder muscles are just so big. It's going to scrub a little bit, so you just have to kind of be careful with that. It's going to be maybe a little bit of a reduced amount unless you really strain it, and then you don't want it to pop out of the joint like some Storm Collectibles do. So you are going to be able to get a back and forth motion going on there, even cross over his arm there. As you can tell, looking really good and go back a good amount. So you just have a good range there. These pectoral muscles, they don't get out of the, they don't get in the way too bad. They will kind of pinch up, so you kind of can make some adjustments how you need to as you are posing this big fella. And of course, both arms will be the same. And he has double jointed elbows, which get, well, it looks like it gets about 90 degrees because of the girth of that bicep. Not too crazy, but not too bad either. And again, bicep swivel on both sides, okay? All right, moving those arms out of the way, let's look at the second set of arms. You're not gonna be able to get quite 360 with those arms, but they do have plenty of flexibility. You're not gonna be able to get quite 90 degrees, maybe almost, but not quite there. And, uh, you know, he's got that nice, joint in there. Not really any butterfly joint up in there uh, on the bottom set of arms, but he does have double jointed elbows. So he's going to be able to get a good amount. I mean, he can almost reach his face with that bottom set of arms. So that's great. And he'll be able to get, um, because of the bicep swivel, cross over a pretty decent amount down there as well, reaching down all the way to his knees, you know, 
that's good. And uh, of course, these hands, as I mentioned, are all ball joints. So you see the peg there, and that's going to bend and turn any direction that you need it to. So when you have those hands equipped, he'll be able to get, you know, horizontal uh, or vertical, depending on how you have those hands turned. So you've got plenty of options there. And again, of course, you can pose that little bracelet any direction that you want to, to get it kind of cover up that ball joint. So that looks great. These arms have a lot of flexibility and just really good. And they just look great even on top of each other. It doesn't look overdone. I think it looks actually pretty natural for what this uh, for what this is supposed to accomplish. He looks just like what we would expect. Just like with Prince Goro, they executed the arms on him as well, really well. But let's go on to the upper part of the chest. Um, now with this strap it does restrict a little bit but he will bend back he'll bend back pretty good amount there with just the upper chest and then when you add the the uh waist articulation i mean he he's going to bend back wonderfully and then he's going to be able to bend forward a good amount there and then when you add the the waist articulation he's going to be able to bend forward a great amount there and of course he will also be able to been side to side there's a lot that has to move to make that happen but you can work on it and you will be able to get some side to side there of course you know been in all all directions i mean just really excellent ball joint in the uh waist hip area and of course the under ruse here are soft rubber as well so you can uh, adjust all of this and there's the yin and yang i was mentioning earlier just take a look at that back i mean check that out oh man i mean makes me somehow want to partner him with uh tigra <laughs> i don't know but uh i mean I, tigra wishes he had stripes like uh kentaro he's awesome just look at that back i mean that's aggressive and uh there's uh mortal Kombat's butt too there <laughs> all right but uh anyway this guy is just so awesome and intimidating and muscular and great and then we want to move on to the legs now this is where you're going to really see a difference between your prince goro and here your kentaro because these legs are executed better they look better going up inside of the thigh area into his into his pelvis area here it doesn't look like you have like birthing hips as i've heard people call it you still have you know your thigh uh, swivel up in there a slight amount you still get double jointed knees which only go about that far i guess there's something in here that is preventing it from going further in this joint but that's as far as he's going to go as far as that uh double jointed knee uh that's about as high up as you're going to be able to get him to kick so just about 90 degrees that's still great and then looking at this um foot here's where we're going to really enjoy a difference check that out i mean you're going to be able to bend it almost tiptoes you're going to be able to also go up a good amount not all the way but a good amount and here's something prince goro just did not have excellent rockers and of course he has the huge claw toe hinge there and so he's just got a firm foundation of course the details the shading the stripes you know down the back of his uh you know back part of his body and then the more lighter tones like a, a animal would have un, in the underneath part of the body and then this blade type propeller fan thing on his chest i mean everything is just executed with such you know precision and greatness when it comes to this kentaro figure i say bravo and you know what i'm going to go ahead and call it right now i give this kentaro a 10 out of 10 yes i mean this guy is amazing he is a great action figure and i celebrate uh, Mortal Kombat and uh, the series that Storm Collectibles is doing. This figure is what it's all about. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, now let's do some comparisons. And here is our Kentaro next to Prince Goro. And I will show you one major difference, and that is 
our Kentaro's hands and fist and stuff are larger than Prince Goro. And then I believe, if I'm not mistaken, yes, you can tell it that the uh, Kentaro is a tad taller than Prince Goro if you were to remove the ponytail, just a hair. And we can measure him and check, but I think that uh, he is a little bit bigger than, uh, I think he's even a little wider in the abdomen area. Yeah, I believe uh, Prince Goro has a little bit more of a narrow waist than Kentaro, which that may have compensated and helped with those birthing hip situation, which I've got it covered up pretty well on Prince Goro right now, but that was fixed. And of course, the feet situation, it's very hard to get Prince Goro to stand, and it is not hard to get our uh, Kentaro to stand. So they definitely made some awesome improvements on Kentaro. All right, so measuring our Kentaro, he measures in right at nine and a half inches tall, nine and a half inches tall, and Prince Goro measures in at about nine and three eighths, and then 10 inches if you count the ponytail length up there, but nine and to the top of his head about nine and three eighths. So yeah, it's just a hair. Kentaro is just a hair taller than our Prince Goro. So that gives you an idea of his size. And uh, I think they're about the same width in the shoulders, but a little narrower Prince Goro in the, in the waist than uh, Kentaro, but really awesome. And here is Kentaro next to Mortaro. And you can tell that these, these two behemoths could go head to head just love my Mortaro. He just goes so well with Motu Classics and Masterverse figures. And I certainly believe that Kentaro is going to be a match for He-Man and his allies as well. These guys are awesome. I mean, I don't know if they're going to join Skeletor or if they're just going to have to be a clan of their own, like one of the side episodes that didn't involve Skeletor. <laughs> But I'm telling you what, the, these guys right here are awesome. I love this Kentaro. He is just amazing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now this one really surprises me because you have Mortal Kombat's Kentaro next to the Death Adder from Golden Axe. And he's holding that Golden Axe, rearing it back. And Kentaro is looking at that axe like, come on, bring it on, buddy. <laughs> but what surprises me is just how much bigger, broader, and thicker, even his legs, that the, uh, the Death Adder is compared to Kentaro. I was kind of thinking, you know, he would be the bigger beast. But uh, actually, I believe that they're close to the same height, but uh, just looking at them next to each other, uh, the Death Adder, his arms are bigger, his chest, his abdomens, his legs, not his feet, but uh, or, or his hands, even though he does have five fingers. <laughs> but yeah, wow, these two are just something else next to each other. Cool, cool matchup here. Now here is the deal right here. <laughs> Our Kentaro next to Shao Kahn and they are looking awesome together. Now, of course, Kentaro is a lot taller than Shao Kahn, but Shao Kahn is the king and he is in charge. <laughs> but there they are. They are looking awesome together. I usually like Shao Kahn for some reason better without the helmet, I apologize. But um, yeah, these are cool. Especially when you consider using Shao Kahn with Motu Classics or Masterverse figures. I just like being able to see his face. He looks intimidating. He looks good. He looks good with the helmet too, the, the crown too, but I like him without it. Now this is what I'm talking about. All four of these behemoths, these Mortal Kombat fighters, King Shao Kahn, Prince Goro, Mortaro, and now Kentaro. And boy, these guys look amazing. This is some major beef right here. And they could kick anyone's tail together collectively. And I think um, they're just really cool. These are awesome figures in their own right, as well as the Mortal Kombat 
franchise, but also I think they go great with a lot of lines, especially Masters of the Universe stuff. Great, great figures. Just look at them together there. And here's Kentaro with a Mythic Legions orc. And he's giving him the evil eye there. <laughs> he's saying, don't even think about it, buddy. But you see how they measure up, looking great together. I mean, Mythic Legions, especially these tall guys, they would measure up great with this guy. Yes, Kentaro's a little taller, but it still works. I think it looks great. Check them out. Really cool. Yes. Now, just for fun, since I think Kentaro has some cat-like qualities, just his eyes, his face, especially when he has his mouth open, and even those tiger stripes on his back and legs and arms to the back, I just think it would be cool to kind of pair him here with the Thundercats as well. And so just showing you a glimpse, here they are. What if he joined the Thundercats or was an ally to the Thundercats? Let's make him a good guy on this scene, right? <laughs> uh, most of the time he'll be a bad guy probably or a you know villain or evil, but in this case, let's pair him with the Thundercats as a good guy. <laughs> and here is what we've been waiting for. Kentaro next to New Eternia He-Man, or at least one of the Masterverse He-Mans here. And we're looking at these guys and how they measure up. Look at there. I mean, to me, that looks fabulous. I mean, of course Kentaro's taller, but he's a beast. He's a monster, and he's coming after He-Man. Who do you think would win? Kentaro or He-Man? Fight. <laughs> I mean, that's going to be an awesome matchup. Can't you just see the uh, He-Man and his allies fighting off this beast, this strong Kentaro beast? Just awesome. Really neat ideas there in my mind, going through my mind <laughs> concerning this dude and He-Man, but that looks great. And here's our Kentaro next to the Axe Battler as He-Man and the Axe Battler team up against Kentaro here. Just look at there. They look awesome together. These just are knocking it out of the park with the way these guys are looking. I just love it. Looking amazing. Check them out. They're pairing up, teaming up against Kentaro. And here's our Kentaro next to Masters of the Universe Classics He-Man with Vintage Head. And yes, they are looking awesome together too. These two are great together. Of course, again, pairing up with the Axe Battler, but He-Man, Classics He-Man is looking great next to more, uh, Kentaro as well. Because matter of fact, you know, the Masterverse stuff is a little taller. So in a sense, you might even say that the Masterverse He-Man and figures may even match better with this as far as being a little taller. but. As you see, you could still make this work because, again, a monster is going to be tall and He-Man's up for the task. Even the classics He-Man here. Talking about picking on someone your own size, here's our Kentaro battling it out with Procrustus from Masters of the Universe, another four-armed beast. Now, we know Procrustus by Mattel, by the Four Horsemen design there, uh, was very limited in his articulation. So I'm showing you just how amazing this articulation is for this forearm beast. Our Kentaro, I mean, knocks it out of the park. There is nothing helping him stand other than just a black, a little uh, foot peg stand. And he doesn't have foot pegs on the bottom of his feet. It's just giving him balance. But there's nothing holding him up. He is absolutely standing up on his own balance. Just working out, you know, the uh, balance of his legs and arms. He is standing on his own, and that is impressive. Next to Procrustus, he's about to knock him down and then go to beating him in the head with all fours after he kicks him off his feet there. That's going to be cool, but look at that. That is so awesome looking. Just give get another sweep here of how amazing this articulation is. Just awesome. Really cool. I'm just impressed he stood up through this whole take, right? <laughs> Looks awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Kaboom! 
He kicks Fisto and there he goes flying. Oh man, this Kentaro, he can do just about anything. He is an awesome action figure, his posability. He's just kicked Fisto in the next week. Look at there, that <laughs> looks awesome. Man, you can just do all kinds of cool things with this guy. And I'm telling you, he is neat. Thank you so much for joining us for this review and this episode. Come on back, like if you've enjoyed this video, comment if you've got something to share, and please also uh, subscribe if you've not done so. Check me out on Instagram at superdave underscore reviews underscore photos, and we'd love to friend you there as well, and friend back, uh, follow back. But check us out on some more reviews coming up soon. Hopes, hopefully some Masterverse stuff coming. But thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Enjoy these photos. Alright, so as we stated earlier, this is our bonus video that we're going to look at the bonus accessories that our Mortal Kombat's Kentaro came with, the Sub-Zero Unmasked accessories, arms and hands, and of course blood effects and split head, but unfortunately I did not get my Sub-Zero Unmasked character as quickly as I thought. I had some family emergencies come up, but I'm going to go ahead and use this HodgePodge character custom. That's a... Uh, of course, a Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat Storm body, that Big Bad Toy Store exclusive bloody version with the translucent arms and, and hands. And then that's a Tekken 7 uh, Jin Kazami uh, head sculpt with just a Marvel Legends cape random layer there. But we're going to look at this body and try on these accessories and you'll just have to imagine that it's Sub-Zero Unmasked. Sorry about that, but I want to show you these accessories along with this video at the end of our Kentaro video because they come with Kentaro. Alright, so to start out with, he comes with these two translucent icy grappling looking hands as well as two karate chop flight kind of hands there as well as two gesturing type hands as well as kind of an open palm spread out hand and of course comes equipped here on these two icy arms with a uh, pair of tightly gripped fisted hands and check out those translucent arms that will go perfect skin tone and everything with your unmasked Sub-Zero if you have him. But let's go ahead and check these arms out attached to our Modge Podge custom character here. Alright, so bringing in our Modge Podge character here, we're going to go ahead and take a look at his arms as we unplug. Uh, and this would work the same with most all of your Storm Collectible Mortal Kombat characters. And then you'll plug this arm right back in that socket there and then we're going to unplug this one and go ahead and plug this one in there and as you can see if you got one of those effect pieces of ice you could you know attach that here as well i know there came with some of the other uh, figures accessories with the uh may have come with sub-zero i haven't got mine yet so i'm not sure i've seen some of the video reviews but um, those look really awesome and of course with those butterfly joints you can also you know bring those arms in and clap together to do ice effects and just all kinds of cool stuff from Sub-Zero's arms turning from flesh tone to 
icy and then being able to blast at his foes. All right, so now let's look at some of the blood effects equipped. Of course, of course, you know you can exchange any of those hands that we went over. But let's go ahead and unplug this head here. And of course, this falls out. So let's go ahead and look at that while that fell out. So you can pop in a blood effect right there. This uh, joint's a little loose on mine. But uh, you can pop in a blood effect with the ones that have the ball joint on the end. And then as far as the one that has the open socket, you can pop that with the spine and it looks just like Kentaro's ripping his head right on off. <laughs> ripping his head off, you can put it in his hands. And then, not only that, but then you can have Kentaro, and the skin tones match pretty good with these two, uh, so it worked, minus the hair here. Rip his skull in two, <laughs> check that out, and then it reveals literally the insides of his mouth, the insides of his cerebral area, even his brain gets split open. You know, like that. <laughs> That's just wild. So you got the hair on top, you've got the closed eyes and the mouth that looks, you know, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. His ears, his hair texturing, but then ripped open to it reveal the guts and gore of the inside of the human mouth. Even the skeletal look there, as you can tell. Isn't that just wild? I mean, awesome accessories. So you have two of the blood effect with the sockets so technically that could also go up here like that and other places that would have a socket joint or you could even attach the ball joint and socket joint one together to make a larger blood splatter somehow or another or you know, pinch something in there to make it look like something's being splattered both ways, maybe with a sword or something that would be kind of cool. So you've got other options with those blood splatters as we mentioned earlier. You could even pop it onto the arms and make it look like that Kentaro is ripping his arms out of the sockets, revealing the bloody results. <laughs> and then have these popped in on either side. So you've got that effect showing as well as this effect showing. So you see he's popped the arms out of <laughs> sockets and there's the gore of, of the bloody uh, coming out of the arms too. So uh, that is just wild. You can do that with just about any of your Storm Collectibles characters and you can even use some tacky and if you can pop some of the sockets out of any of your other lines like Marvel Legends, especially some of your build of figures, you're going to be able to use these effects in many different places. So bravo for this bonus, right? So cool. Let's do a few pictures with Kentaro using the blood effects on this dude. 